Clash of the Titans, a thrilling action fantasy film released in 2010, stands as a remarkable remake of the 1981 film with the same title. This cinematic endeavor emerged from the production efforts of Metro-Goldwyn-Mayer, the rights of which were acquired by Warner Brothers back in 1996 through its purchase of Turner. The film loosely intertwines itself with the epic Greek myth of Perseus, adding a unique twist to the classic tale. Directed by the skilled filmmaker Louis Leterrier, Clash of the Titans took shape from a screenplay meticulously crafted by Travis Beecham, Phil Hay, and Matt Manfredi. The movie boasts an ensemble cast, featuring the likes of Sam Worthington, Gemma Arterton, Mads Mikkelsen, Alexa Devolos, Rafe Fiennes and Liam Neeson. Originally slated for a standard release on March 26, 2010, the film's creators later decided to elevate the experience by converting it to 3D. As a result, the movie found its way onto screens on April 2, 2010, with added dimensions and excitement. The film's box office performance was nothing short of impressive, amassing a worldwide total of $493 million. Despite its financial success, Clash of the Titans faced its fair share of critical scrutiny. Reviews from critics were predominantly unfavorable, and the film even garnered nominations for two Golden Raspberry Awards, a testament to its polarizing reception. However, the triumph at the box office paved the way for a sequel titled Wrath of the Titans, which graced theaters in March 2012, expanding upon the cinematic universe. Delving into the narrative tapestry of the film, Clash of the Titans revisits the epic clash between the gods and the titans. Amid this celestial battle, Hades, one of the gods, creates a formidable creature known as the Kraken to secure victory for the gods. Following their triumph, the brothers Zeus, Poseidon, and Hades divide the world among themselves. Zeus claims the skies, Poseidon controls the seas, while Hades, influenced by Zeus's cunning, is left to govern the shadowy underworld. As the story unfolds, we trace back to the roots of Perseus, a demigod son of Zeus. This tale of lineage and destiny begins with Zeus forming a connection with a mortal woman named Danae. Their union yields Perseus, a child of both divine and mortal heritage. However, the human king Acrisius, driven by anger and envy, locks away Danae and the newborn Perseus in a chest, condemning them to the sea's mercy. Zeus, unforgiving of this act, responds with a thunderous bolt that alters Acrisius's fate forever. Raised by a fisherman named Spyros and his wife Marmara, Perseus grows into adolescence. Fate takes an unfortunate turn when soldiers from the city of Argos, driven by hubris, challenge the god's authority. Hades intervenes, orchestrating a calamity that claims the life of Perseus's adoptive family, leaving him as the sole survivor. Found by a different group of soldiers, Perseus is presented to the monarchs of Argos, King Cepheus, and Queen Cassiopeia. Amidst the royal revelry, Hades disrupts the proceedings, revealing his sinister intentions and setting the stage for a monumental quest. Perseus embarks on a journey to overcome seemingly insurmountable odds, accompanied by allies such as Io and the valiant King's Guard led by Draco. Their quest takes them to the Stygian witches, fabled sources of wisdom, as they seek a way to conquer the fearsome Kraken. This quest unfurls in a series of battles and confrontations, where Perseus faces adversaries both mortal and supernatural, including the corrupted Calibus, a once human figure now serving Hades. Ultimately, their path leads them to the lair of the dreaded Gorgon Medusa, a monstrous being dwelling in the underworld. The climax of the film culminates in a perilous showdown, where Perseus, armed with resourcefulness and courage, confronts the horrors that stand in his way. The resolution of these challenges, interwoven with themes of heroism, destiny, and divine intervention, paves the way for the film's grand finale. As the film draws to a close, Perseus's triumph over adversity echoes throughout the narrative, cementing his status as a legendary hero. 
Clash of the Titans is not only a tale of gods and mortals but a reflection of the intricate relationships between power, destiny, and the choices that shape our existence. It showcases the journey of a demigod who rises to embrace his heritage and shape his own fate, all within the breathtaking landscapes of a mythical world brought to life on the silver screen. According to the Ethiopian manuscripts and other ancient records, which contains the names and history of the kings who reigned in Ethiopia, Cassiopeia was the queen who ruled Ethiopia after Aknas Saba and Nekti Kalanso. Her reign was 19 years and her era was 1890-1871 BC. This remarkable Ethiopian ruler, Queen Cassiopeia, alongside her consort King Cepheus and their captivating daughter Princess Andromeda, was imbued with a unique capacity to transcend the earthly confines. Akin to cosmic explorers, this royal trio possessed an innate ability to marvel at the mysteries of space and the wonders of nature. Rather than confining their legacy solely to the terrestrial realm, they embarked on a celestial voyage, casting their gaze upon the celestial canvas adorned with sparkling stars, which, like radiant pearls, formed intricate patterns in the nocturnal expanse. Queen Cassiopeia, celebrated for her exceptional intellect, rose to prominence not only within the borders of Ethiopia, but also beyond, extending her renown to distant Greece. The Grecian populace, enthralled by the accounts of Ethiopia's royal lineage, wove intricate mythologies around this Ethiopian family, elevating them to the status of celestial luminaries in the pantheon of ancient tales. These illustrious rulers, embodying the triumvirate of King Cepheus, Queen Cassiopeia, and Princess Andromeda, became immortalized in the cosmos. The constellations they discerned and named echoed their presence for all eternity. Thus, history witnessed the birth of constellations christened in honor of this noble Ethiopian family, thrusting them into the forefront of astronomical law, and forever intertwining their legacy with the cosmic tapestry. The narrative of Queen Cassiopeia, King Cepheus, and Princess Andromeda resonates not only within the borders of Ethiopia but reverberates across time and geography, echoing through the corridors of ancient Greece. The Greeks, whose pursuit of astronomical knowledge reached soaring heights, embraced this narrative, forging an enduring link between the Ethiopian legacy and the scientific discipline of astronomy, a bond that persists even in contemporary times. As documented by the eminent 2nd century Greek astronomer Ptolemy, among the pantheon of 48 constellations, three luminous entities proudly bear the names of Cassiopeia, Cepheus, and Andromeda. This illustrious trio, enshrined in the starry heavens, stands as an unequivocal testament to Ethiopia's profound and enduring contribution to celestial nomenclature. In recognition of this exceptional and momentous Ethiopian endeavor, the International Astronomical Union, an assembly comprised of esteemed researchers and preeminent scientists, has bestowed the highest honor upon Queen Cassiopeia, King Cepheus, and Princess Andromeda. Among the constellation constellations that adorn the celestial canvas, these three regal figures command the attention and reverence of stargazers, honoring a legacy that traverses the realms of both earth and sky.